All right, this is the newest uh, pre-calc video here, and um, remember what we're trying to do here is I just want to get you guys ready for uh, your first uh, or your quiz that you're going to be having, and um, the idea is being able to solve a couple things. This is just what we did, so um, I kind of want to go over a couple things um, here, finding zeros and finding factors. So we're basically going to do some practice problems. So if you want to, as I show the problem, if you want to kind of pause it, do it on your own, see so if you get it right. The first problem is I'm going to tell you to create a function that has zeros of 2 plus or minus radical 5. That means 2 plus radical 5 and 2 minus radical 5. And also has a zero of 4. So the first thing is, if you want to pause and go ahead, try it on your own, go ahead. We have to make the factors. So the factors would be x minus 2 minus radical 5. So I'm just thinking if I subtract the 2, subtract the radical 5, that's what I would get. The other one would be x minus 2 plus radical 5. Same thing, subtract the 2, add the radical 5. And then the other one would be x minus 4. Same thing, subtract the 4 over. So we got to multiply these first two together first. So we get x squared, negative 2x, and take your time, this is where a lot of you guys make mistakes, x radical 5, Okay, now I got to distribute negative 2, so I get negative 2x. Then I'm going to get a positive 4. Watch out for that positive 4. Then I'm going to get a negative 2 radical 5. And lastly, I got to distribute the negative radical 5, so I get negative radical 5x. I forgot the x there, sorry. Uh, actually, I'm going to clean that up so it looks a little bit better. Um, let's see here. So I get negative x radical 5. Uh, then I get positive 2 radical 5. And then lastly, I'm going to get a negative, and a radical 5 times radical 5 is radical 25, which is just plain old 5. So that works out nice. So anything with a square root should cancel here. And I get, uh, let's see here, I get x squared, the negative 2x, negative 2x makes negative 4x. The 4 minus 5 makes a negative 1. Then I have to multiply that by the x minus 4. Um, and again, I'm distributing here, um, whoops, sorry, I, hold on, I messed this up, sorry, 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 sorry. So I get x cubed uh, minus 4x squared, then I get another negative 4x squared, and then I get a positive 16x, and I get a positive 4, so uh, let me, uh, let's see, did I get them all here? 3 times 2, there should be 6 terms, I feel like I missed one. x cubed, negative 4x squared negative 4x squared, positive 16x, neg I missed the negative x right here, negative x as well. So I get x cubed, I get a negative 8x squared, I get a positive 15x, and I get a plus 4. So that would be the function that would have those zeros. So hopefully that's, uh, you'd be ready to do that on the quiz. Um, next up here is a problem where I give you a function, and I'm going to give you a function, 5x squared plus 14x minus 24. And I'm going to give you one of the factors. I'm going to give you that one of the factors is x plus 4. And your job is to use synthetic division to find the other one. So remember, I need to make my synthetic division with the 5, the 14, and the negative 24 is my coefficients. And then I need the 0 from this known factor. Remember, if x plus 4 is a factor, that means negative 4 is the 0. Drop down the 5, multiply, I get a negative 20, add, I get a negative 6. Multiply, I get a 24, add, I get a 0. So that means my remaining factor would be 5x minus 6, because I had... Uh, I had one factor of the quadratic, I broke it down to a uh, singular linear 5x minus 6, and that means x plus 4 is the other factor, so there would be my answer right there. Um, if you want to multiply them together, you can confirm that you do get that above answer. And I got one more problem I'd like to do here for you, and this is going to be a cubic. So let's see here, we get 3x cubed minus 16x squared plus 19x minus 4. And I'm going to tell you one of the known factors is 3x minus 4, which means x equals, let's see, add the 4. If I set this equal to 0, add the 4, divide by 3, be 4 thirds. We have to find the other two factors. So let's see here. I got 3, negative 16, 19, and negative 4 are my factors or my coefficients. Let me go ahead and put the 4 thirds out in front here. That's the 0. Drop down the 3, 4 thirds 
times 3 is 4. Negative 16 and 4, maybe you need a calculator for that. Um, if you do, go right ahead, don't be afraid. Um, to take your time and get that right, it would be negative 12. And again, negative 12 times 4 thirds would be negative 16. Add that together, I get a 3. I get a 4, I get a 0, so that means I'm left with 3x squared minus 12x plus 3. You can go ahead and use the quadratic formula to find the other zeros from this, or if you need to, go ahead and factor out a 3, it'll probably make your life a little bit easier. And let's go ahead and use the quadratic formula. x equals 4 plus or minus the square root of 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times a times c, which both happen to be 1, divided by twice a is 2. So I get 4 plus or minus, let's see here, that's going to be 4 times 1 times 1 is 4, 16 minus 4 is 12, all divided by 2. The 12, let's see, 12 is 4 times 3, so the 4 comes out as a 2, so 2 radical 3, all divided by 2. And i got to scroll down a little bit here so I can get some more room. 4 divided by 2 is 2, plus or minus 2 divided by 2 is 1, radical 3. So, let's see here. I have two more factors. That would be x minus 2 minus radical 3. Again, subtract the 2, subtract the radical 3. Or x minus 2 plus radical 3. Again, subtract the 2, add the radical 3. And don't forget to multiply by the original one you were given, which was, let's go back up to the top here just so we can make sure, 3x minus 4. Um, and that would be the factors there. So, um, try those. Hopefully those make sense because we're going to be having a quiz that cover those exact same type of problems.